Hello, I am TDQ, and welcome back to Survival School. We're down here in the basement of our wolf farm, and we have a lot to do on this today, because while we have all these blocks, we haven't done with anything with them yet. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to take these blocks, and we are going to create a building for our... Hello. Excuse me. Get away. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. And we have a trader in here. But yeah, so we need a building around here, not farmland. Excuse me. Thank you. I need to probably make this daytime. And probably need a few more torches around here too. Yeah, we'll put them up on the walls. What are you doing, sir? Any hoozle. We're going to build a building around this. Let me... Get a few more torches around here. Yeah, that looks good. So we've got all the sheep in here. As you can tell, I've dyed them. I've put their colors up above them. Just so we can tell who's who when they are sheared. Because they all just look like naked sheep right now. And I think I want to use a lot of color here. So we're going to take a stack of each of these. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll start with a stack of each of these. See how far we get. Uh, okay, let's go. I have to reorder these. I have them in the wrong order. And we are starting from the grayscale. There's the trader. Yeah. Thanks for helping with that creeper. We're gonna start with the white, and I guess we'll just start right where the sheep starts. So we go, we're going to be doing these two columns vertically for each color. We're going to start with that, and we're going to see how that works out. It may not get us all the way around, so we may have to extend that up to three, but we'll see. Uh, but while we're doing this, I kind of want to talk about the channel and what's going on. Obviously, it has not been as active recently, and I've been on Twitch doing a lot of live streaming on a hardcore world that I started. We are now at about 200 days going strong. We've beat the Ender Dragon. We have not taken on the Wither yet. Don't know if I'm going to cheese it, but we'll see. But that's been a lot of fun. I have had these kind of pre-recorded for a while, just haven't really done anything with them, didn't get the editing done. Uh, so I'm trying to get back into that. We've had some difficulties here, um, some sickness, but I'm getting back into it. So, and I'm glad to be here. I love playing this world, um, and I like what we're doing with it. So this building is going to be the terminus of this island, and when it's all done, there's going to be a road extending all the way down to the other side of the island, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I Actually, I think I need to make this three. I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I think I'm going to make it a granite and diorite road. Uh, with stairs on the sides for, like, the gutters. We're going to see. So, yeah. Let's get all this in. But that's how the channel's been going. That's how things have been going here. How are you? How is everyone out there? I know this has been a weird and rough time for everyone and I just want to remind everyone that you know you're not alone we're all dealing with this we're all in this together we have to I think remind ourselves some of that sometimes okay so we're up to the pink now I'm not even sure if three is gonna be enough but we'll see and yes I have sped this up I do not place blocks this quickly but I sped this up because, you know, it's just placing blocks. It's not the most interesting thing in the world. But it is building, and I know some of you do like 
the building aspects better. So I want you to be able to see that part as well. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to fill in all of those with black. Well, maybe with black glass on the bottom. So the grass doesn't die and can spread more easily. But we'll see. And let's switch up to the second line of colors. Yeah. Unless we want a repeating pattern, I don't think that this is going to be the way it works. We're already up to teal. Not teal, aqua. Cyan? Cyan. Looks teal to me. Mm-hmm. Definitely not going to get there. And let's just make sure we'll fill in the remain there. Yep. Okay. It almost gets there. I think four will do. So we're going to have to redo this. I don't know what happened to that wandering trader. You can't tell me nothing. Yeah, here we are, and we are just about done now. Four definitely was the way to go. And then we are going to add in our doors and such. We just want to get the building's framework down. I do think we're going to have to fudge it a bit at the end here. Let's find out. Got a blue, magenta. So now we are raising it up more just so we can encompass everything with a nice height so we don't feel like we're crowded in. And we have offset it by one block just for a little variation. And hopefully that'll look good. It'll look like something, certainly. And this is going to be a very, very col colorful building. So I want to do something a little... Orange is definitely not supposed to be there. I want to do something a little understated for the roof. But we'll get to that in a minute. We're just going to tower up so we have a nice height. We don't feel like we're crowded in. And again, we're just going to offset it by one. Okay, now, floor. We want a dark oak floor because, let's face it, dark oak is the best wood. It looks the fanciest, and I love it. It's my favorite wood. So, we're going to have a dark oak floor in here. It is going to be raised one and on the half slab so that nothing can be spawning in here. And I think that's going to be the best way to keep out spawns in our buildings. Just by half slabbing. That way we can have mood lighting. And you're going to have to get on these slab sheep. Deep. Okay, just like that. Now, for the outside, we want it three hot, three wide, and we want dark oak logs, I think, stripped around the outside. So let's tower up. Ow. Okay. And just like this. Something's definitely going to have to be there to cover up that emptiness. Hmm. Let me think about that. Stair, maybe? Just finishing this up in stone so it's a little more clean. There's my pickaxe. Just so it feels like this is an actual room. We might want to expand it at some point, but for now a little, it's a little comfy hole. And we can even move the bed. I'd say in this corner. And I, we have torches under the chest for lighting. Awesome. Yeah, so definitely stripped. We've got the stair. 
And we are going to put in all of our chests now, because we need a chest for each type of wool. And do we want these double? Yeah, I think we're going to put them on each side. With one like this in the middle. This may be enough, it may not, we'll see. Oh, this is off center, huh? Well, that's going to annoy some people. <laughs> there we go, that's better. I was missing something. I'm trying out these inside combs with the wood. I don't know about it yet. Uh, we might have to divide off this whole building a little more. But now, we're going to have to get to the roof. And it's going to be a simple white wool, wool, white wool roof. Because, well, most people's ceilings are white. That's just, you know, what it is. Because primer is cheap, and you don't really need to paint your ceiling most of the time. So, we're going to have a white ceiling. And I'm thinking skylight? I'm thinking skylight. So we're going to wrap this and make sure we get all the ends. And then we're going to probably go up there to finish it off. And try not to fall in holes. How am I going to do this? I guess I'm going to have to break one of these out. Or I could do that. And up we go. And I do want it to be the same height as all these colors. And afterwards we're going to actually put down some carpet. So it's not spawnable. Because we don't want to take all that security of making it not spawnable inside and then have everything spawning up top so that it drops down on us when we come out of the building. Everything looks so nice with shaders, I gotta say. It really, really does. And we're gonna keep filling this in from the outside. That way we can get to the middle and make sure we have a nice even circle in the middle. While the rest of the building may be a little abstract in its shape, I do want the skylight to be a nice circle. And we'll just get these down here. Hello, sheep. Find the gap. I think I can finish this off maybe here? I don't know if I can reach them all, to be honest. So if anyone has seen me on Twitch, are you enjoying that? Are you enjoying the hardcore? I haven't made any videos about it. I haven't uploaded any of the, the VODs. Um, I don't know if I should make a second channel for that. I don't know if I should be uploading them here. It's all very confusing. It's not really something I've ever done before. Um, I haven't even really been speaking. Um, it's, they've been completely silent streams. Because I cannot micromanage. I can't do so many things at once. It takes a lot. But I'm working on it, and I'll get there eventually, so please bear with me. Okay, how is this looking? I'm thinking this is looking real nice. I am really enjoying this. And the, the wool, by the way, if you've noticed, it looks a little different. This wool is a texture pack from the Vanilla Tweaks. And I had been looking to try to create this kind of pack myself, because I do have my own texture pack, and I couldn't get the texture quite right. Uh, it just always looked a little false to me. So when this came out, I jumped on the opportunity. This is such an amazing building block now. This can be used for walls, for ceilings, just about any, any kind of construction building block. It's really nice. It's not as flat as the concrete, but it does give that nice texture even for outsides of buildings. Exciting. So we're going to keep basically adding blocks until we have the size, and then we're going to put some glass up here. Jump cut, courtesy of ADD. Now we don't have enough glass, but we will finish that, and I think we're going to line this all with smooth stone slabs. 
And then, as I said before, we're going to carpet this entire thing so no spawns can happen up here. We'll give a lot of nat natural lighting during the day, and otherwise just look cool at night when eventual lamps that are going to go in there are lit up. I do want lamps. I don't want something like hidden lighting or sea lanterns. Just because this is more of, a, I feel, a rustic building than something super modern. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I do have the wrong feel. Maybe the dark oak is just throwing me. And I don't have enough of one color carpet, so I'm just improvising. Hopefully I have enough of this dark gray to do it all in one, but if not, I can always come back. I just want to lay down as much of it as possible now. Get rid of that one. And that's all we have. So we're back down here at the wool. Just to see how much wool we have left of the dark gray. We've got a little bit. So we're going to have to finish that later. But this is how it's looking. Oh, with the night sky and the stars. That looks fantastic. Also, my new skin. Didn't mention it last time. I know I'm looking a little gray. What do you think? This middle guy, once we have a name tag, we're definitely going to name him Jeb. I need a Jeb in every single one of my wolf farms because they look so cool as the mascot. But thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.